Hello everyone. In the last video, we have uh, discussed about the imperfections in solids under the topic solid state. So, what is imperfections or defects in solids? That means it is any deviation or departure from perfectly ordered arrangement of uh, constituent particles in a crystal that is known as imperfection that means it is a deviation or departure from perfectly ordered arrangement that is known as imperfections or we can say that it is a defect so these defects are classified into two types one is a point defect and the second one is a line defect so point defect means it is the irregularity or the deviations from ideal arrangement around a point or an atom is known as a point defect. So in this unit we have focused our study only on the point defects. So line defect it is not there. These point defects are again classified into three types. One is a stoichiometric defect, non-stoichiometric defects and the impurity defects. So in stoichiometric defects, again these are of four types, vacancy defect, interstitial defect, Schottky defect and Frankel defect. Up to this we have uh, uh, completed in the last video. Today in this, in this session we shall focus our study on the non-stoichiometric defects and the impurity defects. So these non-stoichiometric defects are again classified into two types. One is metal excess defect and metal deficiency defects. So these metal excess defects can be obtained by two types. One is by anionic vacancy and the second one is by the presence of uh, extra cations at the interstitial sites. And uh, the third one is uh, impurity defects. Let us see one by one in detail. So non-stoichiometric defect, non-stoichiometric defects means it disturbs the stoichiometry that is the ratio of number of constituent particles in the crystal it is going to be disturbed that's why it is known as a non-stoichiometric defects and again these are of two types one is metal excess defects this can arise by anionic vacancy so metal excess means excess of metals how by anionic vacancy means anions are missing from the crystal creating vacancy so let us illustrate this with the help of sodium chloride example so here i have considered this sodium chloride crystal and this crystal we have to uh, heat this crystal in the atmos in the atmosphere of uh, sodium so this heat this in the atmosphere of uh, sodium so what happens after heating the sodium atoms get deposited on the sodium chloride crystal so here sodium will be deposited so this sodium metal it loses one electron to form a sodium ion like this it forms an a plus and electron will be released then what happens one Cl minus one negative ion from the lattice it will not sit quietly it goes to the surface when they move to the surface when they move to the surface this becomes vacant so this is known as anionic vacancy and this Cl minus it combines with Na plus to form NaCl and the released electron this is again trapped by this anionic vacancy like this. So this anionic vacancy is known as F center means it is a fab. F in German means it is a fab center, fab center. 
in german farb means it is a color so it is known as color center now here excess of sodium is there so it is a metal excess defect excess of sodium how by anionic vacancy okay now this electron and these electrons absorb radiations corresponding to certain wavelength from white light when they absorb energy it gets excited and start vibrating so these electrons again they emit radiations corresponding to yellow color that's why this sodium chloride acquires little yellow color that means the sodium it imparts yellow color to the sodium chloride crystal similarly lithium it will impart pink color to lithium chloride and potassium will impart violet color to potassium chloride and the second one by the presence of extra cations at the interstitial sites here cations are going to occupy the in between sites and in order to maintain the electrical neutrality electrons will occupy the neighboring sites so let us see the example of zinc oxide so this zinc oxide it is a white in color at room temperature this is a white in color white solid and after heating it is a, it becomes or it turns yellow color so when you heat this zinc oxide it loses oxygen and zinc is converted into zn plus 2 i have considered zinc oxide crystal here zn plus 2 o minus 2 like this okay so when after heating this zn plus 2 ions are released so these will occupy the in between sites like here it is the interstitial sites here it occupies so zn now the electrical neutrality is not balanced that is a positive charge and the negative charge are not balanced this is extra the plus 2 charge is extra so to maintain the electrical neutrality these released electrons will occupy the neighboring sites so now electrical neutrality is maintained and this is metal excess defect these are the excess metals how by the presence of extra cations at the interstitial sites so these f center fab centers this is responsible for the yellow color of the crystal it imparts yellow color to the crystal after heating so the oxide form is the it's of zn 1 plus x o that means it is a metal excess it's not zn o it is a zn 1 plus x o that is zinc oxide it is a non stoichiometric compound and the next type it is a metal deficiency defect so in this defect the cations or metals are less in number compared to anions in number they are less in number compared to anions and this defect it is shown by transition metals because they show variable oxidation states for example iron oxide feo fes nio nickel oxide etc so let us take this example iron oxide here i have considered this uh, feo that means it is plus 2 and o minus 2 this is a uh, iron oxide crystal here 1 2 3 4 5 6 that is uh, six cations are there and six anions are there and the charge six cations means it is plus 2 so it is uh, plus 12 and this is six anions so the charge on this anion is minus 2 that is uh, minus 12 okay now sum of this plus 
ions are replaced by Fe plus 3 ions. Now I will replace these 3 Fe plus 2 ions. See here. 1, 2 and 3. 3 plus 2 ions are missing. In this place, Fe plus 3 ion occupies. So Fe plus 3, this is Fe plus 3. Now, how many cations are there? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 5 cations and anions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 anions. This is metal deficiency. Number of cations are less. Number of cations are less compared to anions. But what about the electrical neutrality? Here it is a plus 3 charge. So it is plus 3, plus 3, plus 6. Plus 6, plus. It is a 1, 2, 3. 3 plus 2 ions. So 2, 4, 6. So it is a plus 6. That means it is a plus 12. And there is no change in the charge of the anions. 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6. 6 anions and minus 2 charge is there. So it is a minus 12. This is how the electrical neutrality is maintained. But the cations are less in number. That is the metal deficiency defect. That is why iron oxide, this FeO, it exists as 0.95. And oxygen. Fe, it is less in number. It is not 1. It is 0.95. It may vary from 0.93 to 0.96. And the third type, this is the last defect in a point defect. That is impurity defect. Here, some foreign atoms may be present in place of host atoms. So, consider the example of a crystallization of sodium chloride in presence of a small amount of strontium chloride. Here, I have considered sodium chloride crystal. This is a molten sodium chloride crystal. And uh, when it is heated or during the crystallization process in presence of a strontium chloride, the strontium SR plus 2 is introduced in place of Na plus. So, SR it is in plus 2 state and Na is in plus 1 state. So, in order to accommodate 1 SR plus 2, 2 Na plus ions have to leave their original sites. That is, here 1 and these 2. One SR plus 2, this is accommodated. And what about this? This remains vacant. When you consider the electrical neutrality, see this is plus 1, 2 and 3, 4, 5. This is 6. So, 6 plus charge and the negative 1 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, it is a minus 6. That is how the electrical neutrality is maintained. That means for 1 SR2 plus 2 Na plus have to leave their vacant sites. 1 will accommodate by SR2 plus and 1 will remain as cationic vacancy. That is why the number of SR2 plus introduced. Here I have introduced 1 SR2 plus. So, 1 cationic vacancy is produced. So, that is equal to number of cationic vacancies produced. If 2 SR2 plus is introduced, then 2 cationic vacancy will be produced. Thank you.